Hey everyone, today I wanted to talk a little bit about um, a resource we have from Autism New Jersey. Um, the website is autismnj.org, O-R-G. Um, email me if you'd like me to email you the link. But they, on May 19th, produced a helpful article about helping individuals with autism to wear face masks. Now, many of us might be able to have our children stay home and not take them um, with us as we go get our essentials. But as we move closer and closer to the school year, um, the probability of having to wear some kind of PPE, uh, personal protective equipment, increases. So it would be really helpful for our students to learn how to wear a mask and um, Autism New Jersey gives you some great tips and videos to help you um, teach your child to do that. This kind of goes for anything that your child might need to wear. Um, they set this out for um, face masks, but we've used similar procedures for teaching students to wear glasses, to wear gloves, to wear shoes, anything that might be uncomfortable for them, um, to wear a hat when it's cold outside. Uh, so when you think about things, um, you might and you look at these strategies, you might be able to apply them not just for PPE, but also for um, things that your child might need, like glasses, um, warmer clothes, uh, different kind of shoes, shoes or boots. Um, we've also done something like this for something like a bandage. Um, some students with autism don't don't like that feeling that we've encountered. So, um, you know, these great strategies from Autism New Jersey can help with those things, too. So a couple of the things that may help, um, Autism New Jersey talks about explaining the situation and being really clear. They also offer um, a great brain pop video for children. Um, if your student might not understand uh, what you're talking about, consider using visuals, which are also up on the, the website. They have a COVID visual chat board for students that use AAC or just need some um, additional visual support. And make sure, again, you're being clear, you're being to the point, you're being literal um, when you're explaining how to wear a mask or why we need to wear a mask. Make sure you're not using any humor um, to do so. When you begin to teach wearing a face mask, you want to make sure you set some clear expectations. For some of our students, it might be simple. It might be um, utilizing, you know, if-then language. If we want to go uh, to the park to play, then you have to put on your face mask. Um, if first you wear your face mask, then when we get home and you take it off, um, you're going to earn you know, uh, time with your iPad. So setting those clear uh, expectations might be really, really helpful. Now, for some students, putting a mask on or again, putting glasses on or wearing a bandage, um, all those things that might be uncomfortable, uh, might be really scary to start. So we wanna make sure that we're taking really small steps in teaching, just like we don't teach kids to do long division um, on the first try. We first start them learning numbers, um, how to add, how to subtract and build up. We have to do the same thing um, with these skills, with teaching students how to wear masks, eyeglasses, etc. You might start by just having the child hold the mask for a few seconds, um, practice that, always reinforcing um, with your praise. Great job. Like, I like how you're holding your mask. Awesome. You might have to offer some additional reinforcement, an edible or an activity of some kind. Then you might move to bringing the mask towards their face. So modeling uh, how to put the mask on. They don't have to leave it on, but they're just working on bringing it to their face. Then maybe touching the mask to their face. Um, fitting the elastic over their ears. Now this is not just happening, um, which is why I'm making this video now. This is not just happening in one day. This desensitization process can take really long for a lot of our kiddos. So you might have to work on holding that mask for a few weeks before we can move on to um, it feeling easy to bring the mask towards our face. And then of course we can use some behavioral shaping to keep the mask on for a specific amount of time. So it might just be 10 seconds to start. It might, you know, increase, um, you know, to 20, 30, to a minute and continue from there. Okay. Um, you might want to use something um, like a visual timer. There's a link on the Autism New Jersey app 
to um, or the Autism New Jersey website to a visual timer app that you might be able to, to display. Um, so showing your child how much time they have to wear um, the mask for practice might be a really good skill. We've used this time and time again for students with glasses. Uh, just keep them on until the timer sounds and then you can take them off and increasing that time uh, slowly and steadily. All right. And for our students, you know, this might be something that's really hard and, and might be a big challenge. So we wanna make sure that um, wearing a mask, um, eyeglasses, hat, bandage, et cetera, is as motivating as possible. So providing some kind of favorable uh, reinforcer after a student does the desired behavior. So maybe putting the straps around their ears or leaving the mask on for 10 seconds, you're gonna provide that reinforcement, okay? Um, Another great strategy I thought was really, really clever offered out by Autism in New Jersey is getting a mask that has your child's favorite character or movie um, or maybe color so they're a little bit motiv more motivated to, um, you know, wear that mask, okay? Another thing you can do is have your child wear their mask while they're doing their favorite activity. So, okay, you can go on the swing. You love it. You're doing it every day, but you're going to wear your mask. The chances of them um, forgetting, you know, their potential discomfort um, go down when they're doing something they really, really enjoy. Okay. Um, make sure that you're working in really small steps um, and reinforcing those small steps. If you need any help on how to start to design a program to teach your child to wear a mask um, or some of the other things we've talked about, like, again, eyeglasses or a bandage, um, different shoes for different things, um, please reach out to me or your child's teacher. We're happy to help. Um, we're not putting this out because it's a for sure thing that our students will need to wear PPE when they come back to school. We just wanna make sure um, because we've been out for so long that we're able to have them ready um, should the opportunity to go back arises. So, all right, thanks everybody.